guys. Halo guys. Halo guys. Halo guys. Halo guys. Halo guys. Hello guys. I am Natasha Archivermeslari from Berbenes Institute International Class Program 2019. My role in this video is as the head of public accounting firm. I am Grace from Berbenes Institute International Class Program 2019. My role in this video as an external auditor. I am Jihan Sakina from Berbenes Institute ICP 2018. My role in this video as a head of finance of ICP company. I'm Anissa from Prabanas Institute, ICP 2018. My role in this video as an internal auditor. My name is Nora Hariza from Prabanas Institute, ICP 2018. My role in this video as an external audit. My name is Randy Armansia and I'm from Prabanas Institute, ICP 2018. And my role in this video as an antagonist head of finance. I am Salma from Perbanas Institute, International Class Program 2018. My role in this video as a head office of ICP company. Financial statement fraud is the deliberate misrepresentation, omission, or misstatement of financial information from the financial statements for the specific purpose of misleading the reader and creating a false impression of an organization's financial position. This video aims to educate people about financial fraud and also to fulfill our assignment as students of Professor Dr. Haryono Umar, MSC, AK, CA, and also the lecturer of business ethics subject. Enjoy the video, guys! That's right, this year the company can profit around 50 trillion rupiah. But with this much profit that we get this year, surely the tax that must be paid by the company are also very big. I think that's reasonable that companies should pay a high amount of taxes. Since taxes are a source of revenue country and the benefit will be felt by the public. a lot of profit that we get this year, it means that the tax that must be paid by the company are also very big. Okay, then what is your suggestion to reduce this high of amount of taxes? I think, what if we increase the amount of expenses so we can reduce the revenue of the company? But ma'am, in my opinion, it is an illegal thing and it can harm the company as well. No, no ma'am, this is not an illegal action because as you can see here, in the following year, we can do repressing interest in our financial statement. So nobody knows about that. Hmm, okay, then we will use your idea. I still don't agree with boss decision. Chill, this is the boss responsibility, not us. But as accountant, we have responsibility to recommend the boss for doing like that. Relax. Anyway, this is the boss decision, so we can just accept it, okay? Yes, please. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. This is the financial statement that have been changed. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. This is for company's financial statement. Please check it. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. After I checked it, it seems that there are a few mistakes in our company's financial statements. Hmm, our financial statements are compliant to the standard of revenue. But I see the expense listed in the report is bigger than the evident. Hmm, the truth is this financial statement have been manipulated to reduce company revenue this year. Oh, okay. Excuse me, ma'am. I finished checking the financial report. It seems that they have been manipulating the report. I already knew that. Manipulation.
explaining the financial statement is the good for our company. I need your cooperation. This is the good for our company. Hello ma'am, good afternoon. This is ICP company would like to use your service for checking our financial statements. Could we? Oh yeah, of course ma'am. Uh, given the current pandemic condition, please send the relative files to our company email. Of course, we will do that then. Good afternoon, ma'am. Afternoon, please have a seat. So, guys, would you please audit this financial statement of ICP company? And after that, you can report the results to me. Okay, yes, ma'am. Thank you. It seems that the financial statement of ICP company have so many mistakes. Yes, that's right. After I check the financial statement, I'm not audits with the profit evidence. Yes, true. The amount of expense in this report is very large and there is no evidence that can support it. I agree. We better give the adverse opinion in the financial statement because there are many errors. Good afternoon, ma'am. Oh, yeah, good afternoon. Please have a seat. How's the result of the investigation for financial statement of ICP company? We decide to give an adverse opinion on financial report of the ICP company. On what reason do you guys give an adverse opinion for this report? We find that the company financial statement have been meaningfully increasing expense, so we agree to give the adverse opinion. Mm, okay then, thank you for your good work guys. Good afternoon ma'am, we are from YZ Public Accounting Firm, we would like to provide uh, the result of our investigation of your company financial statement. Oh, that's right. How's the result? All good, right ma'am? Um, sorry ma'am, regarding the financial statement of the ICP company, we all have given an adverse opinion because the financial statement of this ICP company doesn't match with the available evidence. Can you please change the opinion, would you? I will give an extra payment for your work. Um, I'm sorry ma'am, but we cannot change the result of our audit because it violates our code of ethics and also it can be considered as a criminal act. But this is still a normal thing and it's according to the existing procedures. Please, if I may ask, what is your bank account number? I will transfer bonus directly to you. Uh, once again, I apologize ma'am, but we cannot do that because it's criminal act and it will harm all of us, including your company and my public accounting firm. So we can only recommend you to immediately correct your financial statement. Hmm, of course, we will do that then. ICP company finally changed their financial statement according to how it's supposed to be. Financial fraud is degradation of integrity and quality of company. Fraud in an organization has breached the provisions of Indonesian Civil Code Article 374 and known as a criminal act of embezzlement in office and subject with a sentence of five years in imprisonment. Say no. Say no. Say no. Say no to fraud. To fraud. No to fraud. To fraud. To fraud. Thank you for watching, guys.